How's it going, David from Comic Book Investments? So I got a good one for you. These are going to be five comic books under $100 that are super good deals and went way below the fair market value. So there's good deals to be had out there. Each one of these comics, not only do I think it was a good deal whoever bought them, but I also think that they're good long-term investments. So that's why they're on this list and I'm going to break down each one of these numbers for you. So let's get started. First, we got Superman Batman Annual number four. Now, this is the first appearance of Batman Beyond Terry McGinnis in the DC universe. Now, yes, he was in the cartoon before this, but this is when he first brought into the actual DC universe with, you know, who we normally see as Superman, Batman, all that kind of stuff. So this is an actual listing. You can see at the top that this sold for $100 not very long ago for $9.6. And the fair market value is, I would put anywhere between 135 and 150. So whoever bought this book got a really good deal. All the comic books on here are gonna be 100 and under, and they're really good deals and really good keys to pick up. And you can see people getting good deals all the time. Next, we got Batman Vengeance of Bane. This is the first appearance of Bane. Obviously, he was in the Dark Knight number three movie with uh, Christian Bale. And this one was a 9.0 that sold for $61. And the fair market value, I put anywhere between 110 and 125. So this person got a really good deal. This sold just a few days ago. And as you can see, this is a great key to pick up and good deal to be good. All right, next we got Thor, number one. This is the first appearance of Jane Foster's Thor. Obviously a storyline they're gonna put in the new Thor movie. I really like this uh, hammer and the eight, going through the H. Never seen that, uh, really paid attention to it before. So that's kind of cool. Anyways, this one was $70 for a 9.4. I would put this book probably fair market value anywhere between 130 and 160. So like I said, if you're hunting for good pickups, these are great pickups to get. All right, next we got is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 51. This is the first appearance of Jenica, who is you know the fifth turtle, and it's a woman turtle. This one went for $100, and it was a 9.2, and I would place this anywhere between 130 and 160. So again, a really good deal. Also, another good comic to pick up for around $100 or under. All right, last we got Strange Academy number one. The 9.6 sold for $93 just a, a week ago, and I would put this anywhere between 120 and 160. There's been talks of this, maybe a TV series, movies, things like that, but there's always talks. But still, I think this is a pretty good pickup. It's a pretty popular series. So long-term, I feel pretty confident in this one. So yeah, that's this basically five books that I'm showing you where people got really good deals and you could be one of those people. I showed you the prices that they bought them for and then what I thought they could probably potentially be worth. So again, pretty good deals. Just, you know, keep an eye out and you can find these good deals. All right. Have a good day.